Hello viewers and welcome back to Zombie Night Terror. Uh, as you can see here, we're most of the way through the first chapter. It looks like there are four chapters. So it's not a terribly long game. Uh, but I've really been enjoying it so far. We get this spooky intro now in the graveyard. There's an awful lot of disco in this game, or at least disco dancing. Alright, so... Looks like a pretty classic horror movie scene. What are we doing here? Uh, what does this button do? Oh, okay. That's just options. Uh, when I said, what are we doing here, I meant, what's the, what's the story of my mission? But okay, never mind. We'll figure it out. So obviously we're meant to do this. Uh, it looks like this is an ability. Oh, the jump. Okay. Alright, I see what we're intended to do. I mean, it's... Uh, it's fairly simple. Probably you guys all also figured it out. This is like straight up a lemming's ability here. Alright. Oh. <laughs> oh, well that's just what Joy looks like right there. Oh god. We completely cleared that guy. Uh, this is actually pretty bad. He's totally gonna kill all of us. So wait, wait. I don't have any ability to aim it, it just it moves at that trajectory. Okay, it looks like all of our zombies are going to get slowly torn apart here, but I'm curious... Okay, so I, I can make it up. Go! Run, zombie, run! Uh, this poor guy's done for, I think. I just noticed this terrible news here at the outbreak site. People who thought they could take to high ground or to uh, uh, to avoid attack are being proven wrong. A new mutation appears to have given these creatures the ability to jump. When will this madness end? I chose not to read the word hideous. How dare she? Uh, nope, that didn't work. Get him! Oh wow. Okay, they can aim upward. Fair enough. That makes sense. I guess this uh, this is maybe just a tutorial map, and the actual mission is the next. What happens when we get this guy over here? Go. Yeah, here we go. So kill 16 humans, challenge, find the secret room. Wow, is that a little striptease dancing going on in the... What is happening in this graveyard? Okay, well, those people are all dead. I'm sure... I'm sure there will be at least one thing that requires us to, to jump a guy over that. So, the secret room... I mean, it might not be visible to us. Yeah, it's not. It's right here. Okay. So we have to get somebody down there. We have to not fall in this giant pit. This is an awful lot of skulls lining this wall. Alright, yeah. So we got some pits that we have to be worried about uh, down here. I am assuming this is just a big pile of DNA because it doesn't match any of our icons. So... Uh, I guess jumping this guy really didn't accomplish very much. Oh, except I'm going to be able to jump him over this as well. I don't know if people are going to be able to get out from here, but he can jump this, jump over that, and this guy's just going to kill him, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Well, let's uh, let's give it a play, figure it out. So, I don't think I do want to destroy this. Then I have to hop somebody the whole way, although, I guess that's worth doing. Okay, hold on. Is this a dead person who's coming back to life? No. Oh no! That'll show him. I forgot to jump. Let's see if somebody can indeed make it up from the uh... <laughs> That animation is wonderful. Okay, so you're actually supposed to jump because it's the only way to get around all these gunners. Or... Send somebody down below, I guess. Alright. So this guy has a pistol. If we want to have a chance of taking him down, we're going to have to carefully time an explosion. Oh, or... Or this will... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that jumping animation is pretty special. Oh. If you can jump a guy up here... 
can get some uh, get some free infection vector. That's okay. I think we're gonna be all right without it. We need three more kills. I don't know that that was necessary, but it felt necessary. <laughs> Checking that out. All right. And we'll send a couple people down here. Get this explosion. Yeah, that level wasn't too difficult. It was basically just an introduction to the possibilities of the uh, of the jump ability, and I have to say, I like it very much. Wow. Okay, you have to do a ton of exploding to get down here. Okay, so the challenge might be to get here with enough zombies. Also, that zombie totally died. We blew him high enough in the air that he fell a lethal distance. That sucks. Alright, so I have, um... I have this. Is there somebody around here? Yeah, you. Oh, no! He was the last guy on the map, and when you clear the map, it ends automatically. Alright, we're gonna try this a little bit differently, then. We're gonna put a little, put a little bit of style on it. Uh, so we can play this first part and fast forward. I am gonna send everybody down. Keep an eye. The last, the last two guys I want to try getting through here. Oh, actually, never mind. That's a lethal fall. All right. Little creative use of. The explosions. Alright, I want to jump as many of these zombies as I can. Nope. Never mind. Total. Total failure. Okay. So, it's very easy to get distracted. And I keep thinking ahead here. So this worked really well last time. Whatever. That guy will come around. So is it actually possible for me to... Yeah, it totally is possible to get up there like this. And then do this, but unfortunately... That doesn't actually leave me... I have to get this zombie over there to pick up the... Just pick up the Romero. Also, why is that thing... Hmm. It's very strange that this starts... Or, uh, that this starts in the state it does. Alright, so... Oh. Wait, how did a zombie get down here? That's weird. Alright. I love these guys. The, the flying. The flying is so helpful. Alright, so I don't know actually what my plan is for a single... Um, single infection, though. Alright, well, obviously, this will get handled. They may as well throw this open. Right, so this guy's gonna grab this bottle, this thing of Romero, and then we can infect the shotgun guy and the pistol guy, and then blow up whichever one of them is closest to that dude. Also, we should probably free that guy. Okay. I think I infected the wrong one. It's fine. Whatever. Oh, except it's not that fine. So wait, is there still a human somewhere? No. Hmm. Okay. So I don't actually know what to do here. I like this uh, I like this thing where we jump over the guy and explode him. So actually we kind of have to be careful not to kill the shotgun guy in the tunnel. I think the shotgun guy in the tunnel is a uh, is a survivor. All right, so let's let's try this here. We have to try to keep as many of these guys alive as possible, I think. This fall is lethal. We have to not let them fall. Hmm. 
And then I also want to blow up the first guy to get here. Alright. I'm getting some good use out of the pause command. Alright. We are going to intentionally avoid the, uh, <laughs> the dudes in the tunnels as much as possible. I don't know if this is a viable plan. This seems like a lot of DNA to spend. Alright, there we go. We, we just barely got there. Let's let's gather these guys up up here and then ignore them for a while. Alright, so as long as these two are alive, we're gonna be fine. Do I need to cross? Do I need to get all these zombies across? Not really, but All right. dudes in the tunnels are survivors. I don't know where we keep getting like a couple of guys just show up in the tunnels. I don't know where from. If I was paying attention, I bet it's something like um, dead bodies that are already down here in the crypt resurrecting or something. Uh-oh. Okay. Nobody died. Let's see if we can get this satanic ritual thing resolved before we even finish the the main objective. I think that might make it a little easier. Alright, buddy, hurry up. No, we're going to need to get additional zombies down here. See, where are these zombies coming from? Right, we're going to walk this guy over in the hopes. It looks like we just get occasional spawns. Hmm. It's okay. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just a little strange. We got zombies just periodically spawning out of nowhere. Okay, it looks like we might be near the end. Oh no! Alright. Oh, it takes a minute to get the three DNA. Okay, but it looks like we are actually at the end of the tunnel. This is a sneaky one. Nope, we're at the end of the staircase. There's still some tunnel left. Alright, well... We'll have to head over. Uh, I'm like completely out of DNA. Get him. I don't want to sacrifice again. You know what, let's just turn him. Oh no. He didn't he didn't jump the first time I clicked. That's really unfortunate. This is actually gonna be kinda tricky. We're gonna have to be really careful. Um I can get a little bit more Romero. And we have enough zombies now that we can afford to do a sacrifice or two. I was not anticipating that this challenge was gonna be this difficult. Ah. Why does everything cost so much DNA? Come on. There we go. Good enough. We have to sacrifice one more. I think this is worthwhile. Okay. That w oh, man. That gave us a ton of DNA. So... We just have to be clever about how we do this. Alright, come on. Turn around. You know you want to walk back over here. Come on. Nope. Too far. Well, but this guy's run all the way against the wall now. 
We might be able to just drop down onto him. Yep, okay. No! There we go. Now he can go bite those people. I don't think we can get this guy out of here, unfortunately. His head hits the ceiling. Oh no, not yet. Okay. He goes and bites those people and we get four more zombies to attempt to get down here. And we don't have to worry about the level ending prematurely because these guys are going to be totally fine. Okay, that took a couple of attempts. The basic objectives are really not that difficult it seems like, but you have to plan ahead significantly for some of these challenge modes. That's fine, I like a strategy game. Hopefully anybody who's watching this channel is uh, aware of that by now. Uh, actually, I just want to go back to normal speed. And now it goes up. Comma. I'm going to go ahead and clear out this last little bit. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to count for challenge completion unless we get the room completely cleared out. I'm not going to risk it. Just wait for him to get all the way over to the wall here. Okay, there we go. Challenge complete. Green brains are the best brains. So I wonder when we're gonna pick up the story of that mad scientist. Oh no, analysts have confirmed that the zombies display a strangely high level of organization. Originally thought incapable of cognition, evidence now shows that several overlords can combine their skills in order to spread this outbreak as quickly as they can. Meanwhile, the tide of human abomination marches on, leading some to wonder, will it ever end? April Fox, CNT News. She's starting to look a little angrier than usual. Okay, so... The overlord combines with the jumping somehow? So I guess let's like make this guy an overlord and do this. And it costs... Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what's happening here. So when the zombies reach him, uh, he throws them. Okay. That's really cool. So we'll... Do the same thing with this guy. Oh, man. Yeah, that is really cool. These are such acrobatic zombies. They're so graceful as they soar through the air. You know, I don't think I've seen that zombie movie yet. I did see a TV show where there was a zombie tornado. Like a tornado that a bunch of zombies got swept up in. I don't remember what the name of the show is. I do remember that I didn't think it was very good. But, uh, listen, if you're, if you're a big fan of the show, I apologize. Don't take this as a, a personal affront to your character or anything. Z Nation, maybe? That might have been it. Had DJ Qualls in it. That guy uh, is charismatic, I think, but I, I don't know that I've ever seen him in anything that I thought was actually good. Uh, DJ Qualls, if you're watching. Sorry, buddy. I, I don't think it's your fault. F fire your agent. Kill 18 humans. Find and kill the cannibal for the challenge. Cannibal Holocaust, of course, a, a reference to the title of the movie, Cannibal Holocaust. So, I have one zombie? Okay, hold on a second. Let's figure out what I'm doing. So he jumps... I don't have the explosions, and this guy has a, a weapon, so I don't want to come down here. Also, it's not possible for me to come down here. I couldn't turn around. Yeah, this is... This is the honeypot right here, so let's have a look and see if we can't identify us a cannibal as, uh, you know, while we're here. Find and kill the cannibal. It could be one of these two with this here. That, that makes me think that there's probably, I bet it's one of these two. And I'm sure it will be confirmed after our zombie actually gets over there, a little scene will play out. You know, it kind of seems like it's supposed to be the 70s in a lot of this game, but that guy is definitely using a camera phone just now. Alright, let's uh... Let's bolster our numbers a little bit, shall we? 
Here it is. What is she coming up the stairs for? This is a crazy thing to do. Alright, so... Plans. We need to use, obviously, an Overlord jumper to get us up here. And once we have an Overlord jumper in place, we don't have to spend DNA on jumping all the time. So it takes... Is it one? Yeah, it takes one DNA to apply the Overlord and then four DNA to apply the jump thing to the Overlord. So... We can get uh, five DNA worth of jumping from here to here, and then five more from here to here, and then we're going to have to be really careful how we approach this stuff over here. All right. I think we're fine. So we're going to burn through here real quick. Here it is. Because the true monster is man, don't you see? Zombie movies are basically never about zombies. Uh, maybe I should, like, be acting a little faster? That's possible. Alright. Had to spend a little bit of extra DNA there. But it's okay. We're gonna... Uh, we're gonna end up with plenty of... Zombies that we can burn for more DNA if we have to. All right, we need eight more kills. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. Oh, all right, and then... We have to click that, and then I can immediately hit, hit the jump thing. As soon as we click a direction, he's an overlord, even though the animation hasn't completed yet. Uh, so I need at least one more zombie worth of DNA. Oh. Uh, go up this. I want to make sure that we have enough space to work with here. Oh wow, actually, that is not a real concern. Look at the arc on this thing. Alright, so... Yeah, right? Okay. I'm the best free runner in the world. Watch this. Well, that's going to be entertaining in a second, but let's, for right now, do this. Nicely done. Alright, then we can blow through to the cannibal from over here. I think I just let the horde get to these guys. Oh wow. That didn't work at all. Damn it. Okay. Not the end of the world. We don't actually need to kill him. Right? We have we only need to get three more and it'll be these three. Um Are we gonna actually land? No. Okay. <laughs> It's all gonna be fine. It would've been really nice to get this. So we have to burn this guy. Oh shoot. Nope. Okay. I screwed up every part of that. Let's uh, go ahead and rewind it back. Um, you know, being a zombie is tough. It's a tough life. There are very few zombie films that make it, like, really clear the struggle that the zombie has to go through to eat. There was a movie not too long ago that had, uh, that had a zombie protagonist in it, right? Warm, warm bodies? I didn't see it. I didn't see it, but I like that, that guy, the guy in the movie, you know? He played Tony Stoneham on Skins, the, the season of Skins that was good. Well, I guess two seasons of skins that we're good. Alright, we're gonna do this right. So, all of this stuff is pretty straightforward. And 
down here, we have to start actually working for it a little bit. Alright, so immediately pause. Make sure that we're applying this right. I actually really appreciate that uh, the DNA cost is different for applying it to the Overlord, because it makes it really easy to pick out who I'm doing it to in the crowd, which could otherwise be a bit of a problem. Yeah, one guy with a pistol is really not that much of a problem. He gets completely overwhelmed. Two guys with pistols, on the other hand, appears to be more than a, more than a horde of six or fewer zombies can handle. Alright. Now, I did notice when we were doing this, if I, if I built the Overlord, like, right here, I was able to jump to here, I think that we could make the leap all the way over to this platform if I built the Overlord a little closer to the wall, but I'd be a little worried about screwing up and building too close to the wall. If I have to... If I do that, then I have to build another Overlord with a jump to get back across. I guess that's a net plus one body. Oh no, it's not, because the free runner kills himself anyway. So I'd be paying one body to gain one body. It's not at all worth worth trying to do. Never mind. Alright, let's get you. This'll be fine. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I, I'm really enjoying the jump power. It adds a little... A little something. So how are we going to deal with this? I guess I just don't open the door? Will they allow the doors to stay closed? Because we're on 11 kills. So we don't need this floor. Although this floor is not... Oh, we can bomb this door open. No, we can't. I can't bomb the door open because this is one of those doors that, uh, I, I can't bomb the door because I don't have the explosion thing. The explosion thing's behind the door. So... How are you gonna get this? Actually, that's a really good question. If I got a zombie... Oh, I didn't... You know, we're gonna try something with this guy. No, we don't jump high enough to move up a floor. So, hmm. I really don't know what I want to do here. Alright. I can ignore these guys, right? They'll... Here. Now they'll just corral themselves, and this, this gives me a minute to think. I'm gonna jump this guy. See if there's any way at all to get down here. See, if I jump right now, I'll, he'll hit his head. Hmm. The only thing I can think of is that if we... If we overlord him right here, and then put a jump thing on... Oh, I don't have the DNA for that. Ew. Actually, I can burn one of these guys, right? Yeah. I can burn all of these guys. Alright. Yeah, 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 we can... Well... That's annoying. That's okay. These guys, these guys here will, will figure it out for me. So... Ah, hold on, hold on, I have a brilliant idea. Get him! <laughs> that didn't work. That's okay. It's okay, we got there eventually. Um, so now what do we do? I don't need this guy anymore. We want to get her because we need the we need the zombie. And now I could break this door down. This guy it looks like he has a pistol holster. If I break this door down, then make one of these make an overlord and have him throw zombies to here.
This is inconvenient. How about this? Can I? Yeah. Okay. Now this is a plan. Provided that this guy doesn't just kill everybody, which I'm not at all confident is going to happen. Alright. Uh, let's do... Oh no, I don't have enough DNA. And yeah, I totally just didn't get that guy. So, do zombies survive a long fall if an overlord throws them? Alright, and that guy just falls to us too. They do not! <laughs> well. I was hoping. I was hoping there's a mechanic. I wonder if I can throw a zombie, like, directly onto an overlord and have the overlord, like, catch him. Something worth trying. If we can, that really opens up actually like a ton of extra mobility. I'm probably gonna replay the whole level in fast forward for the most part. Yeah, if we can throw zombies directly onto overlords, then that opens up a ton of a ton of options for moving the horde around. We also have to be kind of careful how we use our zombies because it is totally possible to just run flat out of bodies on this level. Alright. So you guys go get... I really wish I had exploders, man. Get him! Hey, we didn't even lose one there. Alright. Uh, fix this right now. Before it has a chance to be an annoying problem. Oops. Alright, so we need to plan out this last segment a little bit better. Also, it's worth noting that in order to get to the cannibal, I do have to get the explosion canister because there's no way through the walls. So, let's, let's just think about this a little bit more. We have the ability to toss zombies pretty much any angle we want. So once we get over to here, what is the best play? I could make an overlord that just functions as a blocker and turns people around, but is it better to have an overlord throw people down here? Hmm. Well, like, we can get everybody down to this level. Pretty trivially, right? Once we've got everybody down to this level, I guess the, th the thing to do is to build an overlord to toss them over and then build an over here an overlord to toss them up. And then, after we get this taken care of, cancel this Overlord's throw and redir and direct him a new throw down. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Why didn't I see that the first time? I'll tell you why, because I'm talking instead of paying attention. Uh, that did not pause when I hit pause. Is there any way to save those two? There is... I'm a little concerned about it. So I have to probably keep the arc of the throw pretty low, though, right? Yeah, this is three zombies. I'm just gonna burn them all. We may end up needing the, uh, the DNA, so... Okay. So let's, let's corral guys up here. It takes actually quite a long time for a zombie to break through a door by himself. Actually, you know what? We can... We can get the explosion canister with just the zombies from down here. And then we can use an explosion to secure those two bodies. That's actually probably a better way to do things. Alright, so... Turn you to throw zombies to here. And then we want to turn this guy... 
throw to right here. Okay, that's not exactly right. Let's uh, reclaim you. But this happens. That's cool. Uh, we're gonna have to. Obviously, we're gonna have to make a an overlord down here to keep these guys from. All right, reload, you jerk. Okay, we lost a lot of people there. We lost a lot of good men. All right, I guess it doesn't. We don't have to wait for him to walk all the way back. All right, so. We're a little lower on active attackers than I would like. We can ignore these guys. Will I lose more than two zombies getting to them? Yeah, probably. Let's let's just ignore them. All right. So we, everything's going pretty well. We just have to make sure that we do this uh, this throwing overlord over here so that we aren't bashing people's heads against the uh, the ceiling. Which means that we have to wait for them to walk back, really. I'm going to be sure that we're in the right position here. There we go. And it looks like the overlords do not, in fact, catch the zombies. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Was my angle really high? It doesn't matter now, but I'm curious. Like, is this... What did I do? I probably did something like that. Ugh. Alright. One more time. Fast forward. We know, we know now what to do. It is a little bit frustrating. I guess... If you put in a rewind function... Wow. He just totally did not jump when I clicked on him. If you put in a rewind function, then it's a little bit of a little bit of a, a difficulty reducer, in a certain sense. But for the most part, I think it would avoid frustration. Actually, does it does it reduce difficulty? I guess it depends what you consider to be difficulty. I think I would definitely argue that uh, having to redo the level over like from scratch and spend extra time doesn't actually count as increased difficulty okay also man sometimes it seems like uh, it seems like my spacebar presses just don't pause the game like when I click to direct an overlord and then click to pause the game immediately afterward this is a bummer All right, so probably I should be waiting until my uh, my zombies are more grouped up. Because we lost two zombies there unnecessarily. We have plenty of zombies left over. All right. We have plenty of zombies left over at the end, so I don't think it'll be a big deal. But we should get used to, you know trying to play well. That might be a good plan. Alright, so you have to be very careful about the angle of the throw. And I am just going to go ahead and burn some of these early guys. Get a bunch of DNA. I guess there's, there's no particular reason to corral if I'm not planning to kill these guys, which I totally am not. Because we don't need to. Alright, so let's apply a little, little fast forward, a little bit of movie magic. I do appreciate that we have like the scan lines effect, like you're fast forwarding an old VCR. Right, let's make sure he's on the edge. Yeah, so like there I had to hit space twice to get it to actually pause. Alright, just completely ignore the commands of your overlord. 
All right. Here we go. This is the crucial moment. The moment not to screw up. Got it. It was still almost too high. Had to be careful. All right, and we've got. Uh, no, there. He's not catching him. The zombies are hitting the ground first. All right, so now we want to rebuild this. Let's make sure that we do this in the way that is least likely to cause a zombie collision. And with this number of zombies, the pistol guy, I don't think, will be a problem. Yeah, here we go. We're finally on our way. Knock, knock. Yeah, he's done for. Alright, and we have to do a very low angle here again. Make absolutely sure we don't have a collision. Here we go. And poetic justice, she turns into a zombie and gets to eat him. That right there is what success looks like. All right, green, ba green brains, best brains. Oh, here's our mad scientist again. What is on that car? No room for you. That definitely looks like a four-seater. I feel like you could bring at least one of them. Alright, so this might be, uh... I lost track. Is this the last level of the chapter? Ooh, looks like we got... Is this fast zombies? I have to say, I'm a little bit of a purist. Uh, I do like the slow zombies a lot better than the fast zombies. These are reportedly... Come and get me, suckers! These are reportedly the last words spoken by famous athlete B. Johnson Lewis. Johnson had been teasing the slow-moving horde with his famous quickness. It seems the sprinter finally met his match here, however. His world record now belongs to an unknown zombie affected by a new mutation that confers inhuman quickness. All our thoughts are with his family during this difficult time. April Fox, CNT News. Alright. <laughs> Ooh! When you turn them into sprinters, they do like a leaping attack. That's pretty neat. So I wonder if, um... The sprinting attack should be significant... Er, significant... Sufficient to defeat the guys with the melee weapons. I wonder how effective it'll be against the pistol guys, though. It does seem to take two bullets to bring down a zombie. It's possible. Speedrunners. Finish the level in less than a minute 20. Kill the bandits before they reach the car. Okay, well, obviously we want to do this. I started with only one zombie. Oh. We have to tell him to sprint again. Oh, it only lasts a limited time. Oh no. Well, that's probably going to be bad. Wait, why didn't he try to go through the door? Alright, so I think when we make contact with these zombies... Yeah, unaffiliated zombies become part of the horde. So it seems pretty obvious that we want to do this. Oh, I hadn't actually clicked. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, we're totally not getting that uh, challenge. Oh, sprinters won't break a door down. That's... Oh, but he's... You can apply the sprint while they're at the door and they'll sprint afterward, I guess? It's interesting. There, there seem to be some... Uh, some difficulties that have to be worked out here. Or maybe we do want to go down. Wow, this level is so long. 
Alright, I've decided I want to go down. I'm a little nervous to use the sprinting thing because I don't want uh, the doors to not get broken. Alright, go. Ooh, wow, 50 DNA, okay. I want to make sure that I angle this far enough forward that nobody... Nothing stupid happens. No! Keep going! So, is this, this is a fail? So the level's really long, but the length of the level isn't what matters. We have to complete the level in a minute 20, and we're not going to do that by getting to the car in a minute 20. We just have to catch up with the bandits. Hurry, hurry, hurry. He makes, he's kind of making like zombie turkey noises. Right? I'm not, I'm not making that up, right? Oh, he didn't, damn it. Okay, you, you're in the new front zombie. Yeah, whether or not they break doors on their fast running seems to be a little random. Go, fellows, go! Alright, so I'll make this guy a runner. Okay, so he does want to break the door. Uh, if he gets to a door while he's in, like, the recovering from running state, he stops, though. That's interesting. It feels kind of like a, a bug, probably. It doesn't make a lot of sense that it would behave that way. You know what? Oh. Hurry! Oh god. Oh, it just disappears. Okay. Well, that's... That's not ideal. So we haven't beaten the level, obviously. Or we haven't gotten the challenge from past a minute 20. But I'm curious. <clears throat> so we're just gonna keep going here. Is this them? Do I wanna try to go over? Wow, the second closest zombie. Oh, I guess I have dead people who are about to respawn. Let's, let's try going over. I'm curious if it'll work. Uh, so, like this. Go! Wow, yeah, the, the fast zombies feed really efficiently. Alright, so a minute 20. Hmm. Hold on a second, let's think about it. So there's nothing we can do to stop these guys from getting through here. I'm wondering if there's some... Alright, if we execute this first part, like, basically perfectly, what does it look like? Right, we gotta do that. Keep running. Man, they are so fast. Go. Hey, I got one of them. Come on, keep running, keep running. You guys may as well keep running too. Yeah, actually, you know what? Keeping multiple zombies going is definitely going to be faster because there's a lot of doors to break. 
Go, go, go. I just totally didn't click the door. Oh, I tried to jump over the car. Hmm. So wait, are these not going to wake up? That's interesting. I guess the car mutilates the bodies too much. All right, all right. We can figure this out. We got one of them that time. That's that's the best. That's a new a new personal best. Oh wow! All right, that was weird. We have to be very careful about when we click with this thing, because he just decided he was done with that door. I wanted to make sure that he was going to start running again as soon as the uh, hey hey don't stop running. Yeah, I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna have to not just not click on doors for no reason. So see, this time it didn't even unpause when I. Uh... Yeah, it didn't unpause when I set the Overlord. Uh, all right, hold on. We're gonna fix one thing right now. All of these doors are getting clicked right now. Uh, so... Sure, kill everything. So what is the best way to do this? Do I want to veer off and get the explosives? Is that gonna be helpful? The mission timer doesn't stop when I'm paused. So, that's not actually a smart thing to do. Alright. I sure think it ought to stop when I'm paused. That seems like pretty sensible to me. Right, come on, guys. Yeah, it only does it... It only does the pausing sometimes. Come on, guys. Alright, so we can catch that guy fairly reliably. Why are so many of you so slow? No. Gotta stop running. That kills two of them. Okay, so I have to... I have to get the car to start driving a little earlier. That was very close, though. We can do this. We can do this, and I don't even think it requires any changes in strategy. I just have to execute a little more cleanly. And I don't have to be... Quite as fast. Um, I I should say I can pause a little bit more often. Well, I I do have to not screw up like that though. There is uh there's still an element of execution, you know. It's not all it's not all planning, which is a shame because I feel like I'm way better at the planning portion. But I can use time when the zombies are busy beating a door down. That's a good time to look ahead. You guys need to keep going. Everybody. Yeah, he just turned around. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Go, go, go. Sometimes when you, uh, when you hit them with the power up, they stop and look at their hands for a moment. Like, oh my god, the power, but uh, that's not helpful. It's not helpful to me. Go get him. Get him, slugger. All 
Alright. Theoretically, the throw that is the most horizontal is the best, right? Oh my god, get him! Oh, that would have been awesome. I wonder if that's actually possible. If you can actually catch that guy there. Oh! Oh, we caught him before they even got to the car that time. Haha. -ha. Alright, I think uh, this is the end of the chapter, though. This video went on a little longer than I, uh, than I intended. Had a lot of trouble with that cannibal level, though. That's, that's just solid advice. I don't care what business you're in. You should definitely go answer the door. Also, don't bring your gun. Oh, is he okay? He is okay. I guess I'm happy about that. Do I want the scientist to die? I don't know. I don't have any... I actually don't really have that many strong feelings about it. Alright, finish level in less than two minutes. End the drug lord business. So what is this? Uh, my sound engineer has sadly passed away. I am currently looking for a replacement. Preferably someone strong who knows his way around a shotgun. Still, despite, the, despite this setback, the news must go on, even if the situation currently seems completely hopeless. While in the past we had only seen fa isolated fast zombies, it appears that the overlords have been seen teaching the whole horde how to run. Yeah, I guess we should have been able to... Uh, to, uh, to read that that was going to happen. So, I want to make an overlord. Have him shoot people up here. And then make an overlord who makes people run really fast. Oh, and when they're fast, they can run over the gap. That's nice. I'm going to... Fast Overlord again. Go get him. Uh, so... Yeah, I don't really know. Go, guys, go! Yeah, that's pretty great. I'm I'm enjoying that. Get him. Oh no. Um Is this going to work? No. Okay, we almost made that happen. Okay, I see, and then you can... Alright, two minutes. Two minutes is what we have, and two minutes, we, we almost made it there. On the first try, no less. Yeah, so sometimes... Assigning an Overlord um, unpauses the game, and sometimes it doesn't. And that's kind of annoying. I really don't like the inconsistency. Is he really not... Okay. Some of them he's catching, not all of them. Right, this just contributes a bunch of extra zombies. Go, guys, go! Yeah, this is it's not working as well this time because unfortunately not all of the zombies are getting caught by the overlords all right. 
Okay, so what is my plan here? Well, first of all, let's do that. Secondly, I think this was a good idea. I think I just want to throw the zombies a little deeper. Wow. Apparently not. Okay. Uh. Go forth. Ah, uh, we did not, did not get there, but... Wow, this is a... <laughs> there we go. Alright, once we make them exploders... Yeah, yeah. Once we make them exploders, it looks like they can't be stopped anymore. They will go off if we click, uh, if we click the exploder button on them. So... I think we might actually be able to... With that... Uh, if we do that correctly, I think we might actually be able to end the drug lord before um, before he even runs back. Yeah, see, sometimes it unpauses and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> that was all. That almost looked like a strategy. The staircase seems to interfere with it a little bit. They weren't jumping until they were clear of the staircase. So that's something to, re that's something to remember. Could be relevant later. Oh no! That didn't help. That didn't help anything at all. Alright, there we go. Yeah, fast zombies are pretty good. So, let's try a lower trajectory so that they're... Oh, that's interesting. We knocked them down onto the lower level. Guys, this, uh, damn drug lord's not taking damage from anything. He keeps running around. Yeah, the zombies don't actually do that much damage when they just bite him. This is very difficult. It's actually going to be much easier for us if we can do this without knocking him down to the lower level. So I have to be a little careful, I suppose. Not that I have a tremendous amount of control over it. Alright, I'm gonna see if we can get... Ah, not quite. I was trying to get what happened the first time where they were able to just run over the gap. That would have been really handy. We need to get a little bit deep, and then have another guy urging them to run so that they don't lose it. Okay, here we go. So the first thing we do is have an overlord throw guys up here. So that we can blow them up. What happened? Did our overlord die? Ah, uh, yes, that is exactly what happened, in fact. Okay. Then we need to get a new overlord. 
Okay, you guys run. Whatever. Uh... He's not gonna run over here? Alright, well. Level is definitely still completable, but not within the two minutes. This is a little tricky. And it's gonna be a little inconsistent, it looks like. It's okay, I don't give up easily. Alright, this. No. In fact, that's the worst result yet. Yeah, everything about that was terrible. That's frustrating. You know what, that was, that was so bad, I'm just gonna restart. Um, not only did I not create a hole that the fast zombies could run over, I, uh, I created the perfect killing zone for the shotgun guy, which is a little bit of a disappointment, strategically. There it is. Yeah, I don't actually care about those zombies in there. So, we need to refresh the run. Oh no, the Overlord's gonna get shot. Alright, that's quite enough of that. Alright, this'll get us over to there. Are you kidding me with this? Zombie rushing them from here. I can't, uh, I can't overlord guys who are in the middle of a leap. There we go. Overlords keep getting killed. Hurry, guys, hurry! Okay, this is, uh... This is terrible. I don't seem to be able to consistently get him to run across the little platform to break it. I suppose what I have to do is get some zombies up there and make an overlord and force them to run and then maybe I can get a zombie to break the little platform. I Basically, I need that guy to run across so that the platform breaks so that we have him pinned. So now we have an infinite source of zombies, I think. Guys, go. Oh my god. Okay, well, <clears throat> this is apparently completely impossible. I have to, um... I have to just not try to do that thing. Not try to break only one panel of this. Go ahead and bust the whole thing down. Except that we will have to fall. It feels a little inefficient. But if it means that my zombies don't get stuck getting murdered over and over again, it seems pretty good. Why are they just running past it? Alright, that's gonna help. Okay. We will get the van now. That took a little bit longer than I would like. Yep. 
Yeah, this is... This is not going ideally. I'm gonna try something here. Nope. I am not able to successfully blow the zombies up at, uh... To fling them at him. Why are you guys not running? There's a... I'm 100% sure that I had clicked that guy uh, to be a, a runner. Yeah, I can't seem to... I mean, this is not sufficient. All right, out of curiosity. Uh, nope, that's not what I want. Can one of you guys jump, please? I don't actually know if we can blow this up by making a zombie down here an overlord and detonating him. I don't think so. No, I... I totally know that's a possibility. Okay, so if I do that, then I can, um, I can do this. I can overload a guy, throw him up, and have zombies raining on this guy from both sides. Yep. So let's not even try to throw zombies up at him at first. Let's go past him, clear out the rest of his lackeys. Because part of the problem that I'm having is that the zombies are getting, uh, the stream of zombies is getting broken. I need to make sure that that cannot happen. Alright, so now we have an infinite stream of zombies coming out of here. Oh. Alright, that'll, that'll do. He's fallen to his death. Okay, there we go. I starting to think I was going to have to do something drastic. How did that get unclicked? Alright. So, we're going for a full elimination of the bottom floor here. Go guys, go! Now. And we set up an overlord out here. Throwing him up from this side. There we go. Come on, get close enough. Damage him. How did the Overlord down here die? Ah, uh, that's annoying. I have no idea how that... Do they have a limited number of hits, maybe? Maybe they can only speed a certain number of zombies? I actually haven't checked to see if they're just uh, spontaneously failing. It would seem very strange for them to fail spontaneously, though. So we need to try to execute this part of the level as efficiently as possible. Ah, well that early portion went really well. Alright, we'll set up another one here. Keep them rolling. Oh no, not quite close enough to kill the door. Okay, there we go. Okay. So now we have total control of the inside. So 
we'll be able to tell if they're failing spontaneously pretty easily by whether this one stops throwing zombies. Uh, so you throw guys up here. You, I guess, just stop doing stuff. Alright, and then somewhere in here. There we go, that's how you do that. The explosions were int introducing way too much unpredictability in the position of the zombies. That was way more effective. Alright, well that's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, we're going to skip this and head back to the menu. Oh, apparently there's a lot of story before the next mission. So that's going to be it for this episode. Chapter 1 complete. Chapter 2, Terror in the City, starts next time. We'll see you then.